make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. Michael and Lucifer, two of the most famous brothers in history, destined to fight in the beginning and in the end. Until the Winchester brothers had something to say about that. Supernatural is one of the longest running sci-fi series in American history. But we personally think that seasons one through five were some of the best television that were ever aired. Let's get into the discussion. So for anybody who wants to say, you guys don't know Supernatural. I have the first eight seasons on DVD. I had children after that, so. I, I, I don't know Supernatural <laughs> at all. Yeah, no, no, not no, at all. No, 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 no. You only binge watched the first 10 seasons in like a week. Yeah, yeah. So. That was that was definitely a thing. <laughs> um, no, and, and he, so, he, so here's how well I know the first, <laughs> at least the first five, actually the first eight seasons, uh, well, first seven technically, is every time a new season on DVD would come out, yeah. I <clears> would uh, go out and buy the DVD right. box sets, as you can see here. Oh, yeah. And I would not even remove the wrapping on them until I had gone all the way back to season one and watched all the way up to the DVD box set that I had. And I started that ritual, I think, once I got season three. Gotcha. And so I have seen seasons one through five of Supernatural, not not even just counting that, but a minimum of seven times. Minimum of seven yeah. times. Yeah. And probably closer to like 10 or 12. I might be starting to catch up to you. No, it's funny because you begged me, begged me to watch Supernatural. For like three years. Uh, I mean, it was quite three. It might have been two. But, might have been two and a half, yeah. Yeah. But begged me. And finally, you know, I ran out of watching whatever I was watching at the time. And so I just sit there and I'm just like, all right, fine. So I put on the first episode. And then he calls like. Oh, my God. It's because you started watching it on a Friday. Yeah. And I called you on Monday. <laughs> Because I hadn't talked to you, and I was yeah. like, hey, how's Supernatural going? <laughs> and what did you what did you say? You said... I, um, somewhere like episode four or five. And I was like, on season one, you're like, no, dude, season three. I was like, holy <laughs> crap! You cleared three... Uh, what, uh, what is that? That was like 50-some-odd um, episodes, almost 60 episodes. Something like that. <laughs> it's, it's over 40, because they're 22, 22, and then four would be like almost 50. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just... He's like, wow, you know, I, I thought you would have been further. You know, it's only episode five. Huh? Oh, no, no, no. Season three. Yeah. <laughs> season three was like, so, so that's our, so that's, we love this show. Uh, we love it. I have since just with life and got, I have I actually not caught up on seasons 13 or 14. Um, just life got really busy, but I watched this show religiously for an incredible amount of time. And starting off with the entire Seasons one through five spoilers, by the way, with spoiler warning. Oh, yeah. If you guys have not watched this show and you're like, well, I want to check it out one day. Here's your spoiler warning. But I'm telling you, seasons one through five are some of the best television out there. And that's not to say that the other 10 seasons are not good because they are very good. But I don't think they realized they were going to keep getting renewed. No, that's why season six has so many jokes about it being season <laughs> six. <Yeah. laughs> so, um, but no, the, uh. The whole idea of starting out with these two brothers who are just, they have to fight against destiny the whole way. Oh, yeah. Right? They have to fight against destiny the whole way. You start realizing everything was preordained. The opening scene is their mother dying on fire on the ceiling, which let's talk about that for, I think, it, was, I think yeah, it was still it the WB at the time. It didn't yeah, turn into the CW w until later. Yeah, but that no, that was a very, you know, because watching it fresh. Yeah. You know, that was a very striking because, you know, I'm a big horror nut. That's, you know, check out my whole video on weaponless horror. Yeah. Uh, or, you know, we, talk, we go into that. But no, I love horror. I love horror movies. Um, I still, you know, think The Exorcist is one of the greatest horror films ever made. And yeah. They got some of that tone in there. The way they do the shadows and the quiet, you know, family home, suburban home. All of a sudden, you just get this sinister presence. I, I, especially because it came out shortly after, 
well, maybe not shortly after, but close enough to after Buffy the Vampire Slayer had concluded an Angel. Oh. Um, it was fairly close to the end of Angel. So you're, yeah. I, you're kind of thinking another... No. The dark tones in this... The, they, one of the few series that actually does family well, at yeah. least through the first five seasons. After that, it got a little... Got a little kooky. It, um, it, it wax and wane, in my opinion, you know, mm-hmm. later on. But that's not the, the first five seasons. Yeah, were very much you know about that brother relationship. Like it was the you know what yeah. would Sam do for Dean? What would Dean do for Sam? And what would be the ramifications of those decisions? I mean, obviously, that's kind of the whole point of season three. Well, and like uh, yeah. I, I, I can't. I have to. Uh, I'll, I'll give credit. There's a, a TV sins, which is an offshoot of Cinema Sins. The same people or? Yeah, same people. Oh, good deal. Yeah, good no, deal. same people. And but, but they did Supernatural. And they do like the pilot episodes of a lot of yeah. TV, and and they covered the pilot episode. And even in even in that one, they were like. Seriously, casting uh, Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki as brothers is probably the best casting decision they really, that's ever been made. And they like took sins off for that. Because yeah. All it was was, bitch, jerk. Yeah. That's literally, that was the, but they're right, is that those two guys sold it so well. And then you obviously have Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Oh, yeah. As, as John Winchester yep. early on. And he is just a phenomenal actor i know he's one of the few redeeming things about the later walking deads his uh yeah. portrayal of negan everybody says it's too cartoony but that's the writing his yeah. performance is fantastic oh, no, no, no. he's great i've seen yeah. him in a couple other things and when he knows he's in a cartoony role he, he plays just, he to just, it. he just he plays to it but this role here that seriousness that in even in flashback scenes oh yeah and you were like wow john winchester was a dude you know what I mean? And like, he was. He was a, but you know. He was also, he's a ex-nom vet marine. Mm-hmm. And, you know, then turned to being a hunter after his wife died. And went on a quest not just to exercise or banish, but kill a demon. Yeah. Like, the guy is just stone cold badass. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Yeah. And he, you know, and then, like, through that, he, like, teaches his boys how to kill vampires, which yeah. up to that point was just, like, a myth to the hunter community. I know. There were yeah. some guys that say they've done it. But, but, was... but, you know, and so it's largely established that, you know, you really get this whole... And I... Sorry. Go, no, 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 go on, go on. I, I was going to say, I just love the way each uh, story arc, each season kind of builds on what they built prior. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously season one being uh, the, mo- the most basic, it's, you know, it, it gets a little monster of the week, but that's also because they're establishing so much. And they also, It was a little Scooby-Doo in seasons one and two. However, some of the storytelling in the monster of the week, that episode Heart. Oh, that was cool. In that, that's season, st- that's in still, season two, yeah, that one, that one so rough. That's that one's... that's a rough one. And Cliff, they they every episode. I, I I hate I hate and love this show for this reason. <laughs> the cliffhangers, they oh, are yeah. so yeah. good. That's why they kept getting renewed mm-hmm. because they're like, damn, we're gonna end it in a good way. And when it's all over, they're gonna put a cliffhanger. They they're gonna have will. to. I I hope they probably they, will. But, and then well, the next thing you hear will be season 16. <laughs> Here we no, go they're again. No, they're done. They're done. <laughs> they're and, done. Which is good. They need to actually, uh, uh, Jared Padalecki's already signed on for a new show. Yeah, Texas Walker Ranger. Oh, yeah. oh, is it Walker? Yeah. Uh, Walker, Texas Ranger? That one. Really? Did you yeah. not watch the original? Uh, that's going to be interesting, and I hope he does well in that role. But yeah. let's get into the like the main premise here, I, I guess, at this point, which is two brothers who are preordained to essentially be the vessels that are uh, 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 taken over by Michael and Lucifer in the apocalypse. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the whole story arc. And, and everything <laughs> builds to that. And, and, you know, season one, yeah, it's a little monster of the week, but it builds that relationship. Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, it ends with the car accident, you know, and you have CCR playing. Uh, and, and, uh, and the music, music choices. Oh, my God, in the season greatest two. Greatest hits of the mullet rock. Right? Greatest <laughs> hits of mullet rock, which is so funny that they did that. Yeah. <laughs> Driver picks the music. Shotgun shuts his cake or his yeah. pie hole, however yeah. he says yeah. it. It's been a minute, but yeah. Uh, no, and and they classic rock was kind of the, the, the unnoticed. For the longest time, it was like the voice of the show. Oh, it was. And, and then... I just love the way it escalates because, you know, the season one ends with the car accident. They just, you know, you finally got to meet the demon, right? The one that killed yeah, their mom. Yeah, Alistair. Uh, no, Azazel. Oh, shit. yeah, you're right. Yeah, yellow eyes. Alistair was way later. Yeah, he's Alistair like, he's like season later. four. You're right, Azazel. Yeah. How did I forget uh, that? 
Wow, no, I'm an idiot. It, I'm it? a fan of this show. Look, he, <laughs> he said the wrong demon name. Yeah, 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 yeah I made a mistake. Yeah, you're in the ballpark. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was a demon. Well, it was a demon, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, and then season two picks up. They're in the hospital. Dean's about to die. Mm-hmm. And so John Winchester, the one that's been hunting this demon Demon's... for 20 years? <sighs> Give or take, yeah. Um, makes a deal to save his son. Yeah. And the, 20, course, 22 years, I think, yeah. is what, what it was, yeah. Because however old Sam is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, Sam was, six was like months six old. months old when his mom yeah. died, and he was, what, 22? 20, yeah. Yeah, yeah, something like he that. He was uh, in college looking. He was yeah, pretty yeah. Long, about to go to law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that'd make him about 22-ish. Yeah. And um, also the parallels. Obviously, Sam loses his girlfriend in the same way that they lose their he mother. He was 22 because Sam, canonically, was four years younger than Dean. And, the and actual Dean actors says, are, I'm 26. Yeah. And Dean I'm says, 26, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm 26, dude. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then, so you build that, and you have Meg get introduced late season one that becomes a recurring... That was interesting how they kept bringing her character back. I know, because you just... Because a lot of times you kind of felt like it was forced, but it wasn't forced, and it was... Well, it's one of those... I, I, I had some issues with certain portrayals of... Yeah. Of Meg, but ultimately I think they pulled her off. Well, I just, you know, when she's in the, you know, the blonde woman, and unfortunately I don't remember her name, the actress that is. The younger one or the older one? Uh, she inhabited two blonde ladies. Uh, the, you're talking about the, uh, you're talking about the one that we all Yeah, remember. with the short oh, hair and the rocker jacket. Yeah. She, uh, she, they, when she meets Sam on the side of the road after they have the fight and it's the one with the scarecrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And it's one of those things where you first think she's just kind of a, you know, hippie punk, you know, hitchhiker chick, right? Yeah. And, you know, you don't really get a, you know, sense that, you know, something's wrong right until the very end. And, you know, all that of a sudden, was that, a great scene where, then, she talks to, where she talks to hell using the guy's blood. And yeah. The, and and the, you're just like, okay, you're thinking witch or some other kind of, mm-hmm. you know, servant. And then all of a sudden, you know... In the uh, Deva episode, the Shadow Demons, mm-hmm. you know that's what. Oh yeah, Shadow and then she Demon. gets she gets thrown out of the window, and you think, okay, she's done. Then all of a sudden, you see her standing out there playing with the pendant that controls them, and you're just like, wait a minute. Yeah. And you know it slowly gets revealed that she's a demon herself, and I like that slow burn mm-hmm. that you know. Well, and and let's talk about something that gets that you know when you're talking about supernatural, you have they went from very, and I and I know that the writers knew that this was intentional. Yeah. But they went from very episodic to very serial yes. over the course of a couple of seasons to get there. And they let season one and season two kind of slow. Not so much in season one, season two a little bit more. Yeah. And See, by, the, by, end the, of, by, by the, the end time of, you get hit the end of season two when you know Sam dies and Dean makes a deal of his own. Yeah. You start getting very serial, uh-huh. and that's not an Al Gore South Park joke. That is, <laughs> they really, it's, it's, it's a super serial. Serial. I am super serial right now. Yeah, right. I'm like super serial right super now. Super serial. Right but now. Um, no, it's a very much a serial at that point. And they have their episodic one-offs. You know, right? Um, I love the way they. You know, inter- I love one of my favorites is when they introduced Bella with the bad day at Black Rock and the rabbit. Oh spike. my god, she did such a good. So she was great, and then went on to Walking Dead. Yeah, that's uh, Maggie. Uh, Maggie, from Log- Maggie, Walking oh, Dead. Lauren she, she did such... yeah. And let's talk about the introduction of two characters because if we don't, because we'll run out of time. Oh, I know. We have got to talk about the introductions of, I guess, three characters. Yeah. Castiel. Yes. Crowley. Uh, yeah, Crowley. Crowley. I was thinking Crowler, but that's beer. <laughs> that's beer. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> beer. Um, no, Crowley and uh, and the introduction of Death as a Horseman. Yes. Which, those are and um, those are three of the greatest introductions that I think TV has done. And I will go through them all here in order. When Castiel, because keep in mind, I was new to this, and so I you know still remember that very much new perspective. And you're sitting there, and he had told me a little bit about the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told just him a little try, bit. And just, uh, but he let me go in pretty in the dark. And then, you know, Dean comes back from hell. Yes. And he's got these burns on mm-hmm. his, yeah. you know. And, all uh, of his other scars are gone, though. All the yeah. battle scars. But just, all and the, they're in the shape of handprints. And, and, and yeah, so and you're just, trying to figure out. And Sam and Bobby don't think it's really Dean at first. And then. Yeah. Um, Which, know, and by the way, Bobby. Oh, Bobby's, just an incredible but, as you know, a surrogate father figure, just and one of the that greatest. Slow, it, it takes like three, four episodes for them to reveal Castiel because yeah. you know they go to the psychic. Was it, pa- no, it was like two. Was it two? It was I, two thought, or three. I thought it was slower than that. But um, they go to the psychic Pamela, mm-hmm. and you know her eyes get literally burned out by looking at the true yeah. form of this thing. <sighs> That's and, right. and so you're sitting there going, 
what and that the demons are all scared yeah the demons are freaking out demons yeah. don't when when they go in that bar, bar and dean reaches across and slaps slaps, slaps the girl demon and yeah. he's like what are you gonna do yeah. <laughs> and when they I walk out of there i'll never forget like, and he's just like, because I think whatever brought me out makes even you scared, and you don't know what that is. <laughs> and so, and he slaps. Much of the line, but uh, what makes you think you're so special? I'd like to think it's my perky nipples. <laughs> I, love, exactly. I love. But then, I'm sorry, just Jensen Cast Ackles Castiel with the you know the storm outside and the door bursts open and there's you know Misha Collins in his now classic trench coat. Yes. And the lights are going out. Bobby tries to you know stab him. I think with the demon blade. Yes. And you know it just sinks in and he just touches Bobby, knocks him out, pulls the knife out and just drops it. Nothing yeah. else. Just. Yeah, and just pulls it out and drops it, and you're like, uh. uh and Sam and Dean are just like, Sam's not there. He's off. That's the right, Sam. Really. That's uh, right. Sam's not there. And um. So then, you know... It was Dean, who, yeah. yeah. and then he... Who, who are you? What are you? I am the one that gripped you tight and raised you from, from perdition. perdition. Yeah. And I am an angel of the Lord. And Dean goes, that's not possible. Angels don't exist. And then the lightning... It's the problem, Dean. You have no faith and the wings are just silhouetted. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's, it's such... Uh, it's great. One of the greatest introductions ever. And then the introduction of death as a horseman. Yes. One of the and it's it's a it's a fifties model Cadillac that he's driving. I know it's not even until season five that you even see him. Because no, because you you get a glimpse of him in see like halfway through season five because I think that was like the mid season and he goes, mm-hmm. and Lucifer's like oh hello oh, death. death which by the way the actor that played Mark Pellegrino yeah, yeah Mark Pellegrino yeah. I've seen him in a couple other things so have I and but no, he is so convincing thing, yes. and, and through the whole series too oh, when I know, you see him he's you know, so that, that, is a, that is a spoiler for the later on he keeps coming back yeah but and, and just uh, and the music choice there the, the Jen Titus version of Oh, oh Dad yeah. Oh Dad as, yeah. and as this oh, car is like Dad. slowly yeah. and like the under yeah. a bridge in Chicago and you know the storms going around people oh, and the way the strong. you know the suit guy bumps into him watch where you're going and he just and he brushes his shoulder and the guy you just see and by the way just as an extra that actor sold, oh, he sold that. it he you just see that kind of <gasps> and his, his face went pale yeah. and he just hit the deck and drop and death keeps going and With it's that just, cane too yeah yeah and then i think crowley was introduced early on but i think i really think the scene introduced that I, in uh, season five yeah, as well i yeah. believe um when the um, one that i enjoy though the see the one where he has to team up with sam and dean and he go and and, and he goes and I'm st- and, and it was the scene where he goes yeah, I'm standing under a street light with Sam and Dave Greek and Winchester and he blows the street light yeah. out and you're just like wow Crowley's got some juice yeah I think that was the character moment that I really remember with him well was because that. he was the one that gave him the cult back to try and kill Lucifer yeah and it didn't work yeah and he goes. What, and what did he say? He's like, oh, there are six things in all of creation. This won't kill. Good, and I'm yeah, he gets up and he's got the <laughs> pentagram, you know, you know, bullet wound. How? How? Oh, where did you get that? <laughs> nice try, Dean, but there are only five things in all of creation that gun can't kill, and I just happen to be one of them. <laughs> he just he sold it yeah. so well. And this whole idea of two brothers... That, leading up that need to be possessed by two brothers who are angels and that comparison and Michael the good, good son, son Dean the good, good son, son Sam, Sam the rebellious, the rebellious son, son Lucifer the rebellious there, son there is so much poetic rhyme in this show and the that slow son. escalation from you know, the, you know Sam and Dean Jen, uh, Jared and Jensen even referenced that is remember when our job was just hunting Wendigos yeah 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 and it just you see you see the story escalate so well you see the the, the music the tone, the 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 relationships, the, the the I don't know how, and they they just kept getting people whose on screen chemistry just worked, worked. all the well, time, and I don't know how time, so after time after time after and time. And that's so important for uh, season four um, with uh, Ruby uh-huh. is, um, and then Lilith too. Well, uh, but the mm-hmm. thing that's really important about Ruby is this is the demon that mm-hmm. tempts Sam into releasing Lilith Lucifer. was three. My bad. Yeah. And she is uh, well. She's also in three, yeah, yeah. but it's a different actress. Yes. And but when she, Ruby in season four, uh, Genevieve uh, Cortez or uh, yeah, yeah, um, ended up being uh, Jared's girlfriend and then eventually his wife. Yeah. And so this demon that and tempted him to you know release Lucifer was his real life girlfriend <laughs> at the time. And, and so you believe the chemistry now, between them because now they really are a couple. We know, but I won't give too yeah. many spoilers. Now we know. There's a little bit of a difference here, but let's never forget, I am the prophet Chuck. 
We cannot forget I am the prophet the, Chuck. <laughs> we can't I forget Chuck and his role and his his character throughout the rest of the series, mm-hmm. which and all of us knew it. And which, by the way, season five, the reason everybody thought season five was it was it. the way it ended. It the was way the ways he, that it ended. He types and the by end the way, ended. what a great to type it out and where they lived in this the the 67 Impala which yeah. we haven't talked about it was their home and this is the place that they called home and it was theirs it was the one thing in the world that these two and you felt for these characters all the way even still now today you still oh, yeah. feel for them but seasons one through five are some of the best television that I've ever the made. way that it all ties in with the writing the character development the natural escalation from monster of the week to the devil himself perfect it's a it, it is a perfect five I am maybe not perfect but but one of the, some of the best but damn close to perfect if it's not perfect it's damn close so thank you guys so much for watching our discussion on supernatural and if you guys like this discussion don't forget to uh subscribe and hit the notification bell and uh, comment below with what uh some of your favorite supernatural moments are and uh, stick around to the end of this video to find out what you guys can do to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching a drink with crazy if you liked the conversation make sure to click here to see more